welcome to this uh, show, uh, the series that we were doing uh, since long on the Central Vista. Uh, and uh, as uh, most of our viewers know that uh, we were doing walk the talk along the Central Vista, but after the pandemic, we were yes. unable to walk along the Central Vista. And instead, we are using these new logistics of the technology and just trying to understand uh, more about the Central Vista. And now, earlier, which was supposed to be just the domain of the architects in the country, that it looked like that only the architects are vociferously opposing the, the construction of the new parliament. Just for our new viewers who have joined and who are not really aware of what the Central Vista is, the precinct extends from the Rashtrapati Bhavan to, uh, through along the Rajpath to the India Gate, and of course it extends to the Yamuna. Uh, so, so today we have a Professor AGK Menon. Thank you, Professor AGK Menon, joining us. Uh, Professor AGK doesn't require uh, much introduction. He is one of the founding members of Intact, and uh, uh, we today we are going to discuss about the the left out parts of the Central Vista, which we've not discussed in the past, because we have discussed that uh, look, it's 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 a it's a it's, a, it's an idea uh, which which was termed as a fascistic idea. Some said it does not sync with the heritage of our country, and we had historians in our show. But today we are going to discuss something very special, which has not uh, really come to the fore. Uh, so uh, thank you, uh, Professor Menon, uh, joining us. Yeah. And uh, straight away, I mean, if if, if I could uh, uh, ask you one of very simple questions, you know, because uh, I remember you were one of the uh, the leading figures uh, in the intact and also otherwise. Uh, to ensure that the precinct of the Central Vista is part of the world heritage uh, uh, domain or zone. Because I am in Simla. I, I don't know whether my camera can really shoot the majestic Himalaya just behind me. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, 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 so, so, and I remember we have that heritage track, the world heritage track from yes. Kalka to Simla. We know the beauty of that and we know why it is so important to conserve it. So what, what, went, what went wrong and how, how do you really uh, view it now? Okay, let me start off by a bit of an introduction. And that is that the whole idea of yes, heritage. Yes, minute. Yeah. Now, what is heritage? Normally, until INTAC was formed, that is in 1984, by and large, most people thought of heritage as monumental. You know, the Taj, Fatehpur Sikri, etc. That was considered architectural heritage. However, after INTAC was formed, we enlarged the uh, scope, the vision and the idea. Now, it's not as though that we invented something. It's all over the world they consider it. But in India, somehow, we often thought of, or usually thought of heritage as these monuments. And just to give an idea of the scale, ASI was the custodian, government, and they were uh, saving about, they were conserving about 3,600 monuments. And that at once strikes you as an anomaly, because, you know, in a country like India, 3,600, there must be something more. Of course, there's something more. But secondly, heritage is not only monuments. Heritage is many other things. It could be your Haveli. It could be uh, uh, the natural heritage. It could be your intangible heritage. It could be hundreds of things. But somehow in our minds, that is what got established. And even today, we suffer from it. We somehow feel that the heritage of Central Vista is only North Block, South Block, Rashtrapati Bhavan, etc., which were the monumental buildings. And we cannot look at uh, uh, the Central Vista as anything beyond that. And just to carry that idea a bit forward, right now, if you talk to the architect, he's, he will tell you, but I'm saving the heritage. North Block is saved, South Block is saved, Rashtrapati Bhavan. What are you people complaining about? So this is the huge gap in our imagination. So when we complain that you are destroying Central Vista, mm -hmm. they say, my God, we're not. You're just Jholawalas just complaining about anything that we do. Okay. And we're not destroying it. Look, we have saved it. We're not destroying all these things. We are even saving the parliament building. We're building a new top parliament, sure. But the old one is saved. And look, the Central Vista, the Rajpath, trees are there. The, mm -hmm. the landscape is there. What are you complaining about? Mm -hmm. So you see the gap in our imagination of what is heritage. Now, that's just a brief introduction that we tried to open that up. Mm -hmm. In, if I fo focus on Delhi, as far in Delhi, there were about 170 monuments according to ASI. Okay. But when INTAC got into the act, we said, no, there are much more. 
and we identified 1200 monuments and these are minor monuments other kinds of monuments it could be uh, in shah janabad could be havelis could be anything but 1200 we said are worth preserving why because they represent our history they are evidence of our history so part of our agenda was that so in 2000 we got this publication out about the uh, uh, city's heritage and one of the things that we identified was precincts and we one of the precincts we two precincts we identified was shah janabad and new uh, delhi so those were identified as heritage earlier they were not and again to emphasize the point the world all over the world there are about hundreds of world heritage cities not a single one in india and then you begin to wonder you mean to say in india 5000 years we don't have any heritage cities uh-huh. obviously yeah. there's a gap in our imagination not that we did not have it but yeah. we imagine varanasi as heritage we didn't imagine ujjain as heritage we didn't imagine madurai as heritage and we didn't imagine uh, latin bangla zone as heritage or shah janabad as heritage and yet it has all the characteristics all the uh, the uh, evidence of heritage so in 2000 we published this, uh, uh, a book saying the heritage of delhi in which these two precincts there were six heritage zone uh, the 27 heritage zones but out of the 27 the master plan of delhi when it came out in 2007 accepted six they accepted all the 1200 monuments saying that yes delhi has 1200 monuments not just 174 that asi is saying but 1200 but it also very interestingly the master plan said that these are heritage so for the first time latins bangla zone shah janabad got a not- legal notification they heritage now that was step one then in 2013 we approached the government and said look it is heritage the master plan says it's heritage but according to us it is world heritage it is of a hmm. category much higher just like taj is india's heritage but it's also world heritage world heritage so, yeah. we managed to persuade the government and it was very difficult because you know you have to go through the ministry of culture to me to asi asi says hamara kaam kyun bada rahe ho we can't we can't manage this few number of monuments you are adding cities to it Now, how are you going to manage anyway in all fairness after lot of lobbying they accepted it and in 2013 the government of india finally sent a dossier which we prepared the intact delhi chapter prepared as because it's a, again a very technical document that you could prepare to uh, to unesco and it was sent uh in 2014 the modi government came into the picture now the whole idea is that to them heritage is politics and what we are saying is heritage is not politics heritage is history we had some good history or some bad history some history we are ashamed of some history we are proud of but heritage is history in history so uh, we said that look this is part of it but the new government said no it is not our heritage our heritage and you are naming shah janabad which is mughal heritage and you're naming latins bangla zone which is colonial heritage we don't consider it heritage so they withdrew it now of course it's a sovereign government our prime minister elected democracy etc etc he has every right to do it and he did it now that is where matter stands and it stood until now because this heritage of uh, latins bangla zone and central vista is in the unesco tentative list it's not yet accepted because we're, uh, india withdrew it tentative list now that modi second okay. term comes then they take more action yeah. first action was because withdrawing it now they're saying this has to be destroyed because you know babri masjid <laughs> has been destroyed now these have yeah. to be destroyed and according to me this entire redevelopment project is a strategy to destroy it okay it is presented as something we are redeveloping we are upgrading if you read the bit so doc- professor menon did this yeah yeah if i could just uh, ask you a question because you yes. know you brought up a very interesting uh, aspect rate right from 2000 to 2014 and in 2014 that uh, the government actually uh, was not serious but did you ever comprehend in 2014 that such kind of redevelopment is going to take place what you qualify to be the destruction of the heritage okay now i'll come to the second point 
even yeah, as yeah, yeah. as we said that all this is heritage it got into the first problem which is that heritage is something to be protected and as intact we were at pains to say in a country like india we cannot preserve heritage because we don't have the money we don't have money to eat how are we going to have money to preserve heritage so we said that it is not preservation it is conservation conservation means awesome. development and we did many projects including varanasi bhubaneswar ujjain where we conserved it and developed it so we said that similarly latians bangla zone and the uh, 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 central vista can be developed so this is where matters stand however that politicians uh, everyone takes a time to understand it so in their minds when we say that it is world heritage it means keep it frozen and we said nothing of the sort nothing can remain frozen things are evolving our needs are changing and so we have suggested many things that should be done and in fact when the project when the uh, design of the project came i remember talking to the architect and said look mr patel several things have been done it is not as though we as conservationists think nothing should be done everything is wrong with your project we are saying nothing of the sort we are saying a lot of things can be done new buildings can be built all over the world they've done okay. it look at paris look at paris they built hundreds of buildings and it's a world heritage city look at uh, beijing look at the 230 other uh, world heritage cities in the world they all built none are frozen similarly this is this, this does not have to be frozen but as i told you the first point i made the mindset the mindset somehow mm -hmm. is that heritage is something that is frozen and has to be kept frozen and intac has been trying very hard to say no we cannot afford to do that it has to develop so to answer your question a lot of things can be done in central vista but it has to be done carefully and as intac we have done over uh, so what does that mean i mean so what does that mean if if you if you if you qualify that to be that it has to be done carefully yeah now i'll give I mean, you what does that mean all i can give you is examples say take bhubaneswar for example or bhubaneswar we did the conservation plan of bhubaneswar where we showed how the old bhubaneswar can develop and we made a whole budget you have been in the municipality you know that you work on budgets you know you work on projects so if i am going to conserve i can't come to you and say look i want money for conservation you say get run along you know where am i going to have money for conservation when i don't have money for roads i don't have money for uh, sewer, sewers and water supply how am i going to give you money for conservation agreed we said but give us money for the following projects and these projects should be done in such a way that it will not destroy heritage you don't have to break it down you don't do this you can do this. a road can be built it doesn't have to go through the building it has to go it can go by the side and conserve it etc the many i mean we don't want to get into that because of a technical subject but okay. the point we made is the the term we used was the conservation can be development oriented in other words the conservation does not have to be preservation oriented it can be development oriented and we have said the same thing about central vista when we say central vista is uh, world heritage my i went through all that when i was trying to convince the government that issue world heritage obviously these questions came up obviously asi asked these questions obviously they had all these high powered committees saying that look what are you talking about you would say we can't do anything here and i had to convince them that look at this look at that it's not my job it, you know i am not the dda i am not the asi i i got no authority i'm just a uh, ngo suggesting this should be done so but yet all i can answer your questions by saying that yes development can take place in the following way and i can give you 60 70 examples where i can show you it can be done and it has been done so to answer your second question it a lot of things can be done okay thanks uh, uh, professor ajk uh, i remember uh, uh, being to kito you know the the capital of uh, or for the habitat uh, three i was one of that uh, yeah. uh, part of the delegation and i remember it's a world heritage site by the way i mean it's it's i mean if you if if you go there i mean there's a stark distinction between the new kito and the old kito how they have conserved absolutely do you not yes. think i mean something that sort could have been easily imagined and, and i mean if if of course it could have been done you know for example take a simple thing like he wants to build a new secretariat for everyone it yeah. attached central vista it can be anywhere 
you, yeah. without the kind of technology. You and I are talking, you are sitting in Simla, I'm sitting in Delhi, we are talking to each other, conducting a business. We are not incapacitated yeah. because you're not sitting next to me. Actually, yeah, true, true, yeah. yeah. So, you know, we can, uh, uh, we can, uh, uh, the governments can function by anywhere. So, the argument I would have used is that, yes, if you want to build a central secretariat, wrong idea, bad idea, agreed. But if you want to do it, build it somewhere else. Build it in Dwarka. Build it in Narena. Yeah, yeah. Build it anywhere. And create a new city. And if you look at historically, we talk about seven cities of Delhi. None of them destroyed the earlier city. Even the British did not. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah could, could you just explain that? I mean, that's very, something very interesting. I mean, and that all those seven things that all, all those seven cities that came up, yeah. I mean, none uh, actually juxtaposed on on on, on the previous one. Yeah. yeah, this is a peculiar thing about uh, about uh, Indian cities because uh, in most of the world, if you go to London, you'll find layers and layers of cities are one above the other. Roman, uh, the Greeks built over the Roman, the others came and built over the Rome, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And yeah, you yeah. have layers like that. Not in India. In India, somehow we built next to each other. Good, bad. There are other reasons. One reason I can give you in a funny way is that we thought it was bad luck to build on someone else a ruined <laughs> empire. <laughs> we also lost this empire. Anyway, be that as it may, we did not. And even the British did not. British did yeah. not demolish Shah Jahanabad. They built it next to it. Yeah. Shah Jahanabad yeah. did not build Tughlaqabad. They built it next to it. So this has been a historical uh, precedent. And if Mr. Modi, in his power with 300 plus seats, wanted to do something, you could have built a Modi Nagar in uh, Narela, <laughs> in uh, Dwarka, in wherever, and made it yeah. uh, like others. So in Berlin, they did that. Hitler did that. Mussolini did it. So I'm just saying, if uh, that was a vision, it could have been done. So here, when you say, I want to do it on Central Vista, it is a problematic issue. And as a conservationist, okay. I argue, not as a politician, as a conservation, I'm saying it's a wrong idea. Professor Benan, if I could just come back to Intac and the vis-a-vis -vis the, the Central Vista. I remember uh, Intac had written to the government and the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs at the outset of this project. Uh, have you heard something from them? And okay. I mean, I mean, it really jitters me. You see why? Because I find Intac even going down to the level of say, a, uh, and not to the level. I mean, but uh, like conserving a temple in Ponta Sahib in, in Himachal Pradesh. But I haven't heard a word from Intac. Why is it so? No, it's I'll answer that question uh, in my own way, not answer directly because that may not sound too good. But you see, when the first designs came out in late November, December. We were horrified. And, you know, I know Bimal Patel. We know <laughs> Hardi Puri. We know the government. You know, it's not as though you and I are not familiar with them. We are not strangers. We try to contact them. So, in good faith, we drew up a thing saying that, look, gentlemen, you can do a lot of things. But can we please do it carefully? And we are there to help you. Why? Because you don't know, Central Bay. We have done a dossier on it. We've got mm -hmm. enormous amount of data. We've yeah, got a yeah, whole yeah. lot of surveys. We've got a whole yeah. lot of uh, issues. And mm -hmm. what I even told them was that, can you please renominate this place as Central Vista and uh, as World Heritage and still build your buildings? That mm -hmm. will be a lesson. <laughs> if you can, then you'll break this taboo we have in India that we cannot develop a World Heritage site. So I'm saying, here's your challenge, I told them. I, here's, I told Bimal Patel that. I told Bimal Patel, I said, look, you want to do this, you are an architect, you want your project, have it. But if you want to do this, you'll have a feather on your cap. You'll have done it the right way. <clears throat> but of course, we heard nothing. We heard nothing from Mr. Puri. We heard nothing from Mr. Bimal Patel. We heard nothing from the powers that be. And it's not as though we don't know them. It's not as though we are strangers. Intac has quite a few ministries on their uh, governing council. But there is some taboo that you are not allowed to interfere in this project. And that bothers me. Okay. So we contacted them. They didn't. And 
So when you say the intact did, intact did, but in a very, shall we quote, civilized, unquote way. We did not go around uh, shouting at them. We nego try to negotiate with them. And as I said, someone like Bimal Patel, I know. I, I don't have to shout at him. I, if I were to argue with you, I'll argue with you. Why, why would I want to shout at you? So I said, we can negotiate them. But no, there was absolutely no response. Uh, okay, Professor Menon, I think there's uh, uh, something very interesting that, uh, I mean, of course, it's an international precedent that it's not just the conservation of the building, but also the usage of the building, you know, the, yes. the, for a particular use. And now all of a sudden we're finding the north and the south block, south block would be museums. And then even the parliament was supposed to be a museum uh, in India. So, uh, 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 how, how really, uh, I mean, uh, understand, I mean, what do you think about it? You see, the degrees and degrees of conservation. Mm -hmm. Ideal would be preserve it. But as I told you in the beginning, preservation may be a problem. So, you allow mm -hmm. development. You allow usage, several things. Now, as I said, the whole degrees. You might find it, uh -huh. you might find North Log in a ruin and you want to restore it. Mm -hmm. You may not say, I, I can do administration again. I may make it to a museum. And that all over the country you'll find a lot of conservation are made into hotels, are made into, into uh, museums. But that is not the situation here. This was a functioning yeah. building. It, they claimed it had some problems, the seismic and all that. Uh, it's possible to resolve it. I'll give you one example. I'll digress a bit here. One of the very first projects when Intag was formed, I, I did was, I was called to Bangalore because Bangalore chapter mm -hmm. said that, look, we have a huge problem. We have this beautiful high court. It's called Attara Kacheri, 130 years old. Mm -hmm. The government is wanting to demolish it because they want to have many more courts. You know, the, the usual, uh, the, uh, the number of courts are required. Uh, the building is 130 years old. It's falling apart, et cetera, et cetera. So Intax sent me. This is 1985, you know, long time back. And I went and examined and the engineers came and tried to convince me that we had to do it. I looked at it and said, look, you know, I can have an engineering study done, but I look at it and say, look, this is, building is not going, going to fall at all. But we can do studies to show what the seismic problems are. I can see one beam, there's a crack, we can uh, handle it. This building is good enough for the next 100 years. And I gave my report. At that time, Civilized people were there. I remember, who was it? Mr. Hegde was the, uh, the minister there, PWD minister. He listened, he agreed. And today, they're very proud of the fact that Atara Kacheri is still there. And they've got more courts. And it is functioning. And I say, well, there's a perfect example of uh, conservation. Mm -hmm. So something like Bangalore, Atara Kacheri, which had the same arguments that they're using here. Oh, we, we need more space. We need, need to do this. This is a big structure. There's seismic problems. 1985, we faced the same problem in Athera Kacheri in Bangalore. And we resolved it. And they're happy about it. Today, the, gen the new generation of Bangaloreans are very happy that the Athera Kacheri is still in their midst. So, I think that degrees and degrees of handling these problems, it could have been handled. I don't see any reason why the building had to be emptied out. There are reasons why it needed to be emptied out. But again, as someone has asked, if it is unsafe for administration, is it safe for museums? People for museums, not... yeah. <laughs> yeah, you we know? discuss that. And there's no answer to that, you know. Uh, of course, it's uh, yeah. uh, safe for muse museum. It's safe for the administration. But we know the building well because, as in fact, then chapter we've done studies there and all that. It requires a huge amount of maintenance. <laughs> right? Central Vista requires a huge amount of maintenance. Maintenance is different from alteration, change, etc. One has to maintain it, maintaining the significance of the heritage. So it could be done. So that net, uh, uh, removing it uh, uh, functions from there is not... And let me try to put it this way. Would a minister of foreign affairs sit in South Block or would he sit in one of the donut-shaped modern buildings that they are going to be sitting uh -huh. in? You tell me, you know, psychologically, would the minister of uh, yeah, sure. want to conduct his business in South Block? Yeah. Would he want to do it in one of those uh, donut-shaped buildings that uh, is being built for him now? 
And remember the second problem there. They already got a new building, Ministry of External Affairs. They're going to demolish it. It's five yeah, years. That's strange. Old. Five, five years, old. years old, built to purpose, going to be demolished. Yeah. And got to put him into a donut. I just don't understand it. So obviously, you know, it's inexplicable. Okay, Professor Menon, if I could have the last two questions to you. Sure. Sure. One is uh, on, uh, quite technical, and of course, uh, uh, another one is for our common viewers. I mean, I, I will ask that. In the, uh, that's the that's the second question. The first one is, I think the, uh, we've learned that this, there would be some eight stories, and and also, the, uh, uh, I mean, the uh, idea of the original skyline would also be violated. So how do you really view and what is the relevance of a skyline? A. Sure. Two, Professor Menon, now it's slowly, slowly we're understanding that it's becoming an issue of the people. I mean, common, because, you know, open spaces, what will happen to those, those sure. spaces? So, so, so as, I, I, as I said in the beginning, that this trajectory from the architects to the common people, after all, this is the heritage of the common people. Sure. They own this heritage. I mean, Absolutely. so how do you understand how should they how should they be linked to this entire, I won't say struggle, but the part of, part of the movement that, that's uh, getting developed to protect this into this stuff? Yeah. So let's answer the second question first. People. Okay. We know okay. that this, this is a people's place. This is a, a, a democratic space. After these buildings are built, what's going to happen is going to be a security zone. Someone called it a special political zone, SPZ. Someone, it'll become a SPZ. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's an interesting, that's an interesting qualification. Yeah. So it's, why is it going to be a special? <laughs> you know, right now, even today, you can't walk to North Lot, South Lot. There are barriers there, security, because you've got all the ministries yeah. there. You can go there to take a selfie. Yeah. Face it still there. But it's not like old days. I remember as a youngster, you could cycle up to there and come back. I can't do that anymore. Yeah. That is what's going to happen to Central Vista now. With all these ministries coming up next to Central Vista, this space will still have trees, still have lawns, we still have uh, water bodies, but it will have yeah. barriers, it has CCTV, you cannot picnic, you can't loiter, move on, move on, move on, you know, nothing. So common man is going to get hurt. And take a place like Delhi, dense place where a lot of people don't have open space. This is their space. This is where they picnic. Yeah. This is where they come to have an ice cream. Yeah. This is public. Yeah. Meaning of public place. Public yeah. place is somewhere where you have leisure. Also public places where you yeah. protest. Public place where you uh, uh, take a selfie. All those things are public places. All that's going to be. It's now going to become a security place with a barrier because, and quite rightly so, because of the security people will come and say, ah, ah, no, 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 people can't come here because our government, our government is here. A terrorist may come. We've had it. So it's become a security. Place. So in answer to your second question, people are going to be deprived of a very valuable public place by doing this. First yeah. question, what you got an eight-story building. Earlier, the trees were the skyline. You could see the sky beyond the trees. Yeah, if you look carefully, maybe you could see Nirman Bhavan, maybe you could see this thing. Inconsequential. Today, after all this, you're going to have a phalanx of buildings. You know, a wall of buildings next to each other, all the way from uh, uh, Vijay Chowk to uh, India Gate. That is going to be the change in skyline. So now it's going to be a hard skyline with this wall on both sides. Earlier, you had a Skyline. You had three. They're different. And yet your building is not as different as buildings. And in, as as though so it's a matter of their concession. They say, oh, which is lower than uh, India Gate. You know, as you say, they're doing huge favor to the public. They're reducing the height of the building by a few centimeters below uh, 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 India Gate. You see, it's deceitful. It is wrong. That's what the problem yeah. is. Okay, but I'm provoked to ask last question again. Sure. I mean, You're provoked last. enough, so you can go ahead. So, what do you see in the future? <laughs> and 
So, what, what, how how do you see the future of the Central Vista and the redevelopment? You know, after the pandemic, the Supreme Court has also said no construction is going to happen. But uh, you know, the, the sinister move is very sinister. So, so I mean, I, I mean, optimistic and be very black also. You see, Central Vista is going to be destroyed with the 300 plus seats in the Parliament. He doesn't even have to ask the Parliament. He's doing it. He didn't have to ask me, for God's sake, who am I? So, okay, you and I are talking because you're asking me a question. He's not going to ask me a question. But, okay, so it's going to be destroyed. But the answer to your question, our cities are going to be destroyed. Because now you realize that urban development is a political play thing. We always knew urban development was a capitalistic play thing. You know, big projects, a lot of scams, a lot of money. And our cities are being destroyed. Even Delhi is being destroyed. You know, look at your uh, Kidwai Nagar. Look at, uh, you know, uh, yeah. all, all this happening right now. There was money power. Now political power is going to come in. So the future of cities in India is bleak, my friend. Is bleak. And it is made much more stark with this pandemic. It should have gone the other way. We should have made it much more humane, much more human. It's going to be the other way around. Unfortunately. Well, thanks, Professor Menon. I just remember one of the anecdotes during my student days when I was a student activist in Himachal University. And the Indian Institute of Advanced Studies was being converted into a hotel. Yes. We protested, we objected with all our strength that we had. And of course, there was this whole aura like you, people, intellectuals, architects who said, no, no, it shouldn't be handed over to hotel. Today, that Indian Institute of Advanced Studies still remains the Indian yeah. Institute. And I wish, I mean, I don't know, but I still wish that the Central Vista also remains the Central Vista without the redevelopment. Yeah. But as you, as, as, you, as you rightly pointed out, I mean, the challenges are really, really big. And we all are witnessing that. In the day. Thanks, Professor Menon. We'll Thank definitely you. join Thank on you. Yeah, so some other day with, with uh, yeah. No, on this, we walk along uh, Central Vista. Maybe, maybe with another topic. We <laughs> <laughs> Central Vista and cry. Yeah, yeah, because 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 from the Central Vista to maybe urbanism, the kind of uh, aesthetics that we are getting in the urban realm. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot for saying. Okay, thank you. Thank you.